Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. In this video today guys we're going to be taking a look at the crypto space. We'll have a look at the market leader, see what's been going on there. I do expect one last pullback before we finally get a bit of a push back to the upside. So guys as we get into this if you find it useful and informative hit the like button, really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us on Discord go ahead and check the link in the description down below. It'll be fantastic to have you over there as well and you can ask us any questions that you may have as well right with all that said done and out of the way let's actually jump down into the desktop and take a look at what is going on here with bitcoin and uh, you know what might happen next here across the crypto space Okay, guys, so we're just going to give you that quick high level summary once again um, with Bitcoin on the weekly chart. Okay, because this is an important chart. Um, it is basically tracking a lot of the things that are going on in the crypto space, right? We want to make sure that we stay bullish uh, and, you know, and heading up nicely to new all time highs, right? And there's a few things on this weekly chart that actually help us understand the Bitcoin movements and obviously helps us understand what's likely to happen next on a bigger macro piece, right? Rather than getting focusing in on all those micro movements on the hourly chart, for example, it's important to zoom out and you get the bigger picture right and we're probably going to go through a few examples of that um this evening so um here on this bitcoin to usd chart weekly we're using bitstamp as a data source this goes across uh, you know from 2011 all the way to current right so we can dissect all the different bull runs the different peaks the scenarios the timelines the the percentage gains all that kind of stuff now for the most part we're not going to really focus in on the previous bull runs we've done that a dozen times already now so we're really going to focus in on what's going on here right so right up here we can see that we've bounced down towards this Gaussian channel. And the Gaussian channel here uh, basically is a good indication of a bull market or bear market. As we can see, when we touch on this back in 2018, and slipped inside it this basically was confirmation that we're in a bear market again the same thing happened over here from the all-time high down testing and then falling into the Guardian channel now the fact that we've come down and bounced on it a couple of times um you know it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out we came down we wicked in we bounced from it again we bounced from it and right now we're bouncing from it it's not a coincidence these high levels that we've hit recently either okay we had sixty seven thousand dollars to the penny we had $69,000 to the penny. And every time we can take a look at where we actually come down to, keeping it in the bull run, um, but obviously allowing it to pull back significantly, shaking out retail investors thinking that we're going into a bear market. So far, so good. We can also take a look at that weekly stochastic RSI. Wouldn't that be a thing of beauty? It's headed all the way down there into the oversold area. Again, take a look at where we were previously when we we're in this lower area, right? So we know that that's nice and low. Price momentum is likely to pick up soon and we should start to see some pretty good corrections. But as I said in the intro, we are expecting a bit of a pullback first. OK, we are still in a corrective state and we need to get past that little bit first. Right. So first thing I'm going to do is actually jump us down into I'm actually going to jump over to this one here and we'll turn this off. OK, so this here is our weekly. Uh, this is our hourly chart. Sorry. And uh, here we can obviously see the bigger piece right on uh, the larger time frames. We have the, the ABC move to the downside. Uh, and of course, we do have the ABC um, push to the upside, right? That bounce. So we can actually take this and we could put this down here, for example, if we want a nice, neat kind of ABC move to the upside. Now, we did have that kind of fake out just here. We kind of slipped back. We actually went a little bit higher. And um, so this on a real smaller time scale might have been something more significant. Um, but right now, that's actually a part of this big C wave, the ABC. Then we slip down into this smaller ABC here, right? And then we're looking interesting at this point. We can see that there's a nice green candle and we're overbought, okay? And um, this is then looking that we need to, to co correct down, right? It would almost be an ABC move to the upside in itself. Um, only problem with this that I have is I don't think this is necessarily an ABC up. I think this is actually an ABC down on a different time scale. So we'll jump over to that four hourly chart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to hide this one for a second. Um, that's not even the right button. Let me try that again. Uh, no, it is that one. Uh, visibility. There we go. I'm going to turn this off um, anything higher than three hours. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. And this actually looks interesting, right? This actually shows you there is a, that smaller ABC on the hourly, but on this four hourly chart, this actually looks more like an A, B, C to the downside. Okay, so this is the pullback that I'm looking at. And it also is confirmed with a corrective state of that stochastic RSI on both the short time frame and the larger time frame. Okay, so what does this actually mean? Well, it means that we are likely to pull back with Bitcoin. Okay, and um, let me just actually put this onto here. And if we actually take that high point that we've just set as our high, 
and we're looking to pull back down this actually puts us right down here at 49,000 sorry 40 7,900 just above our interesting level of support okay so that's going to be the area that I'm going to be looking at for this C wave correction and then from there I think we're going to be a part of a much bigger uh, move to the upside so if we actually take a look at this on a daily perspective and I um, actually zoom in on this for a second over here make that a little bit bigger I think we're actually a part of a bigger ABC in itself, right? And uh, it's going to be hard to draw this with so much detail, but I think there's an ABC on a much larger time scale looking like this to the upside, right? So it's important that we don't really focus in too much on kind of like the micro movements that are happening here on the hourly. You can kind of go nuts with these ABC movements and, um, you know, it can get a little bit difficult to kind of track what's going on. Let me just clear this up a little bit. Um, but when you actually zoom out and you pay attention to the bigger time frames, um, you know, we take a look at that daily chart, for example, and I bring this back down, we can see that there's actually a head and shoulder pattern here, right? We can kind of see this one potentially playing out. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit more um, by removing some of these other ABCs that we don't need anymore. Just quickly grab these and get rid of those. So here you can see a bit more of the detail, right? Big ABC move to the upside there. The ABC coming down. Okay, now we're looking to push up for that right shoulder, pull back down. Uh, on the, the right hand side of that shoulder uh, and this could actually lead to you know a massive collapse of Bitcoin okay because head and shoulders are negative in terms of price action uh, you'd get that price falling back down if this plays out I don't necessarily believe this is going to play out and um, I think once that momentum comes in I think we might get a bit of a fake out in this area here considering the amount of manipulation in the space I think it'd be very hard to see this thing pull back down uh, below the actual level of the Gaussian channel in itself. So I reckon we're going to see a bit of a fake out here. I think we will push up to that top of that right shoulder, pull back. Everyone will think that it, we're going bearish, going to complete that move, short the market, and then the whales will go ahead and push the price up. Um, so, you know, anything's kind of possible. I'm not going to kind of call the market. We don't use leverage anyway. So we're not at risk of sh being shorted out or liquidated or anything like that. So for us, you know, we're just going to hold it and kind of monitor that situation. But I do want to kind of highlight that there is this ABC, uh, this um, head and shoulder pattern here, um, which is basically in line with the, the, the ABC movements that we've been seeing in, in Bitcoin. Okay, so we have to be mindful that this could play out and it could be, you know, a big downtrend for Bitcoin overall and Bitcoin might not actually go up to those all-time highs that people are talking about, which is also equally possible, right? And um, likewise, I could also see this being a pattern that doesn't play out and gets manipulated and, you know, uh, basically more people get liquidated as they, they short the market and so forth. So I'm not going to, you know, swing one way or the other right now. I'm going to kind of see how this one plays out. The expectation is a small pullback and then a push to the upside. On, on this larger time frame, and um, you can actually acknowledge that uh, what we're actually looking for here is this A, this B, and then a C going up, okay? And so when we actually break it down and we actually consider, you know, not only just the head and shoulders, these kind of standard patterns that you often talk about on, in space, you see it all over the place. Um, but when you actually follow Elliott wave as well, um, you actually go ahead and actually take the high A wave to the low A wave here and go and put this on top of our support level. And you can see this one just coming up to that next resistance at about 57k. And again, this is something that's going to play out over a period of time. It's not going to be quick. Uh, but this could also be that top of that right shoulder before we start to see that correction and that pullback. Uh, again, I'll use the ABC uh, because it's nice and easy to kind of explain. But you could potentially see this ABC movement to start to form that shoulder. Okay, and get a lot of people worried keeping it just above the Gaussian channel there. And one of the plays that, uh, that could happen is actually you get the reversal. And likewise, we could also get that huge downward trend, right? So we won't know until we get closer to this point how that's going to play out. Um, but I do anticipate this uh, this bigger ABC move on the daily playing out. We are in the middle of this B wave, this ABC down on the smaller time frame. When we go to that four hourly, right, we can see the ABC coming down here. Um, so we know that this is happening on the smaller time frame, the ABC, okay, taking us down into that support level. Okay, that support level, let me just delete that. Um, is in line with our daily expectation of down here at 47k, 47,900 approximately. And then obviously we measure out the distance of our A wave to take us into that C wave high, taking us towards that 57.5k area. Okay, uh, that will be basically hopefully, you know, in line with the resistance. We'll find a, a, a turn in the market, which will probably form the right hand shoulder here. And then obviously we'll start to see that one pull back down with another ABC. So overall, um, you know, everything on Bitcoin is looking very interesting. We are looking for this larger kind of push to the upside that takes us nice and high get some confidence going only to get that taken out of the market 
everyone will start noticing the head and shoulder pattern and um, then you'll start seeing a narrative about how bitcoin's going to crash down um, and then potentially we might see one or two things at this point we'll either see it completely crash down which is you know very possible uh, and then also the, the other possibility is that uh, the, the, the market gets manipulated uh, and this pattern doesn't play out and we get that push to the upside okay so uh, you'll you'll know which way it's going to go by the uh, amount of money that's either in long or short positions come the time so we can't really talk about it yet we haven't got the data um, but for now do enjoy this push to the upside you know there's going to be some interesting area just up top here playing out this head and shoulder pattern but also completing of that c and then we will be looking to bring that price back down again and um, towards some of these lower levels interesting level for me right now in terms of that correction would be about forty six and a half thousand dollars and then we really will be analyzing whether or not we are going to close inside the Gaussian channel for a bear market low because of course if this head and shoulder pattern does play out that's bear market okay for bitcoin and alt season starts Okay, and if um, you know we don't then don't actually go down lower than the Gaussian channel, don't close inside it, and then we're pushing up. Okay, so we'll come to that when the time does come. Um, but overall, you know, if we actually do want to kind of you know see that kind of long term picture, the weekly chart is your friend. It shows you pretty good progress uh, and pretty interesting areas for Bitcoin to kind of move on up to. So guys, I'm going to leave the video there. But if you have found it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.